I have in studio with me. She's giving me that stare. She has this look. <laughs> she and her mother, they've got these eyes <laughs> <laughs> that engage you in the whole, I feel relaxed already, Malika. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. I'm just sitting here breathing, you know. <laughs> yes, I need to breathe myself. Um, happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. How good are you? Good to see you. I am good. I am good and so good to have you here this morning. Thank you. It's good to be here. So tell me, Malaika, oh boy, those stressful situations. I think a lot of people walk around on the planet. Just, we breathe, you know? Barely. We, we, <laughs> right. <laughs> And I think a lot of the times we just don't do it right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's shallow, sharp breaths, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we don't give our body the. Uh, look at you. <laughs> <sighs> so tell us the importance of, first off, breathing mm -hmm. properly. Why is it so important? Well, you know, our body needs our breath. It needs the oxygen that we are bringing in, and unfortunately, we tend to cheat ourselves out of really rich breath. Mm -hmm. Most people are using a fraction, less than half sometimes, of their lung capacity. Right. So then you're not getting the amount of oxygen that you really need to function optimally for all your organs to function, for your brain capacity to be at its highest peak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Even just talking about breathing, you notice that you start to kind of breathe a little deeper, a little slower, you know. I because what happens is, you know, stress is obviously important at times, it you is. know, especially, stress. I mean, our functions kind of develop out of the days when we were like running from lions and things like mm -hmm. that, where we needed our heart rate to pick up, where we needed that kind of quick response. But now our stress tends to be these kind of intangible things like money, mm -hmm. you know, and relationship issues mm -hmm. or children and these things that don't really have an end. <laughs> so, you know, the chase from the lion was going to end one way or another, mm -hmm. but these things tend to kind of continue. And so if we don't know how to regulate ourselves, our stress responses keep sparking as we True. think about these things throughout the day. Sometimes you're doing something completely different and you just think about that bill, mm -hmm. you know, or you think about that fight that you had or you think about, and, and so breathing deeply can have a way of allowing what is called your parasympathetic nervous system to activate that part of your body that allows you to calm down, allows some of those stress hormones to ease out of your system. Mm -hmm. So the, the breathing is one of the most simple tricks to just starting to level out some of that stress. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, the, I mean, the amazing thing is people don't even realize, they think that to breathe properly, you've got to just uh, stop what you're doing, get into your yoga class or something, but you could actually do it if you're stressed at your desk at work, mm -hmm. you're stuck in traffic, you realize you're getting very annoyed mm -hmm. by the fact that the traffic is not moving, and right. that alone triggers these stressors that can throw us off, right. you know? And you can just do it right there you in the can. traffic at you your can. desk. And it makes it easier to pull out that, you know, it's a tool. Mm -hmm. So it makes it easier to whip that out in stressful situations if you do practice it at times where you're not necessarily in a high stress situation. Mm -hmm. So for example, if there's a time you're at home, maybe you're about to go to bed or maybe you just woke up, even just taking a few moments, a minute, to just lay there and breathe, to sit at the table and breathe before you eat. Mm -hmm. You know, you can take these moments where you're not in need of it to cultivate that practice so that yes. when you do need it, it's easier to call on it because you've been so familiarized true. with it. It's you know? so true. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this morning I, I, I was up at about quarter to six mm -hmm. and you know, these mornings are really nice and chilly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, chilly, the air is fresh and clean. So I stepped onto my, my veranda and let me tell you, I took some deep breaths, man. I put in those, like you say, the lung capacity to mm -hmm. it's just taking it to its fullest potential. Mm -hmm. And those deep breaths, I mean, they can just make you feel like, I'm ready to take on this yeah. day. You and know? you need to give yourself permission for that because, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes we know, in, this, is, this is not some new philosophy. People always say, it, just take a deep breath. Yeah. Count to five. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are things that we know work and um, we need to give ourselves permission. There's times where you tell people that and they're like, don't tell me that. I don't mm -hmm. want to hear that right mm -hmm. now. I'm vexed, you know? But the point is that we know it's going to help. Mm -hmm. And you can move, if you're upset about something, breathing and meditation, it's not that you're 
escaping from the problem. What you're doing is giving yourself some space mm -hmm. to connect with you, to kind of get beneath all those thoughts and just connect, mm -hmm. to realize all is well, and then to make smarter decisions from there about, okay, what is bothering me? How can I fix it? True. Versus just reacting to it. Yeah. It gives you a moment of pause so you don't do something really you know permanently damaging so true you know in a so moment true. where you're just upset for a second yeah and it's so and you know there's something i've learned a, quite a few years ago is that taking deep breaths actually lowers your blood pressure mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. it just gets you know obviously because you're more relaxed mm -hmm. your heart rate slows down mm -hmm. you know but let's get into for instance the correct way mm -hmm. you know the proper way to take a good deep breath not from here right. like you would see not right. from here <laughs> yeah. but from right well area. it's hard you know for many of us it's mm. a little bit difficult to even start taking deep breaths because we're so used to it you know um, and we we're so used to that shallow breath so I mean just talking about the mechanism of breathing <laughs> Yes. Our cameramen are taking full full advantage now. Um, all I hear is I, like deep breaths. I hear deep breaths. I see, I see all the signals of the hands. Well, so in terms of the mechanism of our breath, what mm -hmm. happens is we have this band of muscle here, our diaphragm, right. and that is really the main um, kind of mover of our breath. So what happens is when we when we take a breath in, our diaphragm drops down. So instead of really instead of your chest only expanding, your stomach should also be and that's part of why we don't take deep breaths we're always trying to suck in our gut mm -hmm. you know which is like you know holding your stomach muscles is helpful for supporting your spine but right. you also want to give yourself some space there so that your organs can move out the way because what mm -hmm. happens is when you're breathing in your diaphragm needs room to drop down so that your lungs can expand mm -hmm. so it kind of displaces your organs a little bit so that you can really take that full breath. So the first thing is really allowing your stomach to expand, you know, getting yeah. some Buddha belly action. Sh should we stand and do a... Yeah, we can. Well, we? sitting is good. Sitting okay. is good. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, I'm in the car. Yeah, so if you're in the car, if you're at work, really what you want to do is sit comfortably first, mm -hmm. you know. Um, even in the car, you can do this. Right. And um, you want to, you know, see, I have your pillow here is folded up Which and behind me. Which is good me because, for support. Yeah, because sometimes you need a kind of, what I do now in the car, because stress can come also when your body starts getting tense and you don't even True. realize it. And True. one thing I realize about car seats is that there's, some of them really lack support in the lower part of your back. So what I do now is I walk with a towel in the car mm -hmm. and I have it rolled up in a cylinder and I put that behind my back, nice. like a little bit above my lower back, and it mm. really changes my experience mm. of driving. Mm. Um, and then, so you wanna sit comfortably, mm -hmm. and what you wanna do is just allow yourself, at first, the first thing to do in terms of when you're trying to figure out where your breathing is at, is just to sit and notice your breath. Not trying to control it, you know, not trying to make it deeper, just kind of noticing your breathing. You know, you can close your eyes and just have a sense of what's going on in your body and how your breath is. Is it really shallow? Is it deep? Sometimes it might be, you know, deeper than others. <laughs> but by doing that, already you notice you start to calm down, mm -hmm. you know? So from that place, from awareness of your breath, in terms of taking the deeper breath, what you want to do is really, what I do in my yoga classes is have people really exhale all the air out. So sometimes we have a lot of stale air that's just kind of sitting there because we're really not pressing it out. So sometimes even having your hand there and really gently encouraging. And then from there, you can take a deeper breath. When you really make the space, when you create that vacuum, then you can follow that with a really nice, rich breath. So it's that kind of awareness of what's going on a little bit can help. And it really, it does, it's a practice. It takes a lot of practice. And, you know, especially when I was doing my yoga teacher training, I was just so amazed by how <laughs> deep I was breathing. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. because I was doing it so much and we were constantly, you know, involved in the practice. And I was just like, wow, I can really just, yeah. my yeah. inhalation yeah. was just like endless and my exhalation was equally so mm. you know and the thing about deep breathing is not only does it lower your blood pressure but also because your diaphragm is going down it helps to massage your liver your stomach your intestines oh, it helps good. to um, really oxygenate your blood and increase your circulation 
And that's all those things are so important. It helps the heart function, obviously, and the lung function. So it, it all round has benefits for your physical body, not just that kind of mental right. space that you're looking for. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Folks, I'm chatting with Malika Brooks Smith Lowe, and we're just speaking about basic proper breathing techniques to reduce stress, to lower your blood pressure, and to just make you feel complete calmness mm -hmm. um, at times when you feel like you're losing control. We're gonna take a